JJ at his home in France uh, has no recording facilities other than his phone and he would noodle on his acoustic guitar and sing. And the very, very first conception of Dave was JJ doing exactly that. And if you should see Dave, say hello. After Dave passed away, we couldn't really, couldn't, I couldn't, we couldn't, fun, we didn't function for, for a while. Another song uh, inspired by the loss of, you know, someone I um, knew for 45 years. He was a colleague and a friend for 45 years. So it leaves a, a big um, uh, empty space in, in one's life. So it's just that. It's, about, it's simply about Dave. I was meant to meet him soon. In that great Baz then really hit the ground running with it. The way it then happens is Baz sends me down his project and I then take everything out of the project apart from his guitars. Oh, it was at that point as well that we also decided, because Baz had put strings and keys on it, that like, hold on a second, maybe this should be the first Strangler song that doesn't have keys. and the absence of keys are going to speak volumes, you know? So Baz then took out all the keys, the strings, and made it guitar heavy, and it was then that it was instantly hit us that, hold on, this has got like a, a mamas and papas 60s kind of vibe to this. And then there's the line at the end, um, it would be nice to say hello, and this is where your solo would go, and we just kind of step back and pedal, pedal across maybe 16, 24 bars. It's amazing the uh, reaction we've had to that one specific line. I mean, I was talking to a couple of mates who were getting commemorative tattoos, and they're gonna get that line tattooed on their arm. He was one of our one of our own, you know. 